What's up, Deep Frogger fam? Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my favorite baits to use this summer. It will help you catch fish and catch bigger fish this summer, all right? And remember to click up on the pop-up card right here to see more videos like this, and always leave a like and subscribe to the channel below. Remember to leave in the comments below some constructive criticism so I can make these videos better, not only for myself, but for you guys, so you guys have better content to watch. Now, let's get into the video. Right here we have my favorite set of baits that I like to use. Now this summer, it's gonna get pretty hot in Arizona. And right now I'm about to get you the rundown on all the baits that I love to use and that'll catch you fish. Right here, I have my favorite assortment of baits that are gonna be great this summer. That'll help you capitalize on the amount of fish you catch, all right? So now let's get started. We're gonna start off with the bottom baits. For my bottom bait, I like to use a flipping bait. And specifically, I like Strike King Menaces. These things get the job done 100% and will not fail you. I like to pair it with a 2 aught Gamagatsu straight shank hook with a glass bead, a 3 ounce tungsten weight, and a peg. The reason for me using a flipping bait is because all these bass, they're going to be looking for cover, somewhere to hide. They don't like the sun in their eyes, so they want to get it out. So you flip right into cover, perfect. The fish are most likely gonna be under there. They're gonna be under grass mats, in some timber, around some timber, under trees of shade. You get yourself one of these. Now, this is a dip and glow marker. So, take this red side, draw right on those tails, and it is bright and red. Just look at that. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look great? Exactly. What we'll also work with the flipping pattern are structure bugs. Now, I have them in white right now because it was just spawn season. I use these all the time during the spawn. I can see it has great action. It has four little legs that kick out and it's perfect for bed fishing. 100% my favorite bed fishing bait. And remember, you gotta have the glass bead so when every time you shake that bait, it rattles. See that? And you have to leave a little space between your bobber stopper and your weight so as that room to slide, it can rattle. All right, that really gets that fish's attention. They'll hear it, they see it, and they want it. Now for another bottom bait, this bait you can use year round, anywhere you want. It'll always work and never fail. That is a jig. Now, I love jigs, especially finesse jigs. I use finesse jigs all year long, and they are perfect for getting in cover. They can do anything you want. Maybe something that might be better than a finesse jig is a flipping jig. You can use that for even more, all right? Now, this, right here is a bait buffet dp finesse jig bait buffet makes the best jigs on the market and with those jigs i pair up with a uh, power bait chigger claws chigger claws are extremely good they're nice and slender they have big claws and they flap really good it has some good action in the water and the fish love it too now moving aside from that those are the bottom baits now Let's move on to the top water. Yeah, I said top water. Now, top water, everybody throws it in the morning or in the evening because that's when the bass come out and start looking for stuff at top water specifically. But really, you can throw it all day long. Especially if so, if you're in if you're in deep water, you throw a spook. If you're in shallow water, you throw a frog. Now, spooks are better for a main lake bite in deeper water. All those fish are gonna be up higher, well, not suspended, they're gonna be up higher in the water column. They're gonna be sitting up there. They might be running on top of the water trying to get stuff. And on the shallows, the frogs might be hopping in to cool down and do some other stuff. So the bass will pay attention to that. Especially if you see some shade on a bank, throw a frog, but also do not hesitate to throw a spook. Now, if I were to recommend a spook to you, I'd get a head and spook, right? They make the best spooks out there. Now, if you want more of a, just a walking bait, not necessarily a spook, you get an Ima. Ima spooks, or whatever they're called, Ima walking baits. I don't know what they're called specifically, but they are extremely good. They have great paint jobs, and they really get that fish to bite. Now, when it comes to frog fishing, I like a specific company for frogs, and that would be River to Sea. River to Sea probably makes the most high quality frogs out there. They are really good, they have a good skirt, they have a good body profile, nice legs that don't come over the face too much, and you can trim them if you want. The hooks are very strong, 
only problem I have with River to Sea frogs is that the hooks can rust out very easily, but other than that, they're a really good topwater frog to have. Now, moving into the now moving into the moving bait. So, moving baits cover a wide variety. So I'm gonna give you a scenario. Say it's a sunny day. There's a lot of grass and weeds in the water. What do you throw? Now, this is my opinion, but Kitek Easy Shiners, the five inch ones, are the best to have. Especially in this color, it's got that natural green to it. They look extremely good swimming through the water. That tail is that fat kick, it's perfect. Everything's aligned on these. These are the best swim baits, well, plastic swim baits money can buy. Pair it up with a 5 aught Gamagatsu swim bait hook with a screw on it so you can screw on that bait so it stays on there longer. And make sure when you put the hook in, you thread it back into the skin so you don't catch any weeds. Now, it has such a slender profile. Here, I'll show you. Let me grab one out real quick. These right here have a slender profile, so it's kind of made for coming through the weeds, right? It has more of a squared off or a rectangular body, if you know what I'm trying to say. It's not like a thick circle or nothing like that. This is like specifically designed for kind of coming through the weeds and threading through them easier. Now, here's another scenario. Say there's, hmm, you're trying to go for a big bite. You're trying to catch your, trying to go out there, trying to catch your personal best bass, something big, something that'll really get your blood flowing. That's where this would come in, all right? And I'd throw this on a sunny day, cloudy day. Just, I gotta make sure there's not necessarily too many weeds or grass in the shallows, or at least a little deeper down. That's when I pick up glide bait. Glide baits are perfect if you're trying to go out there and catch some really big quality fish. Now, this is a Savage Gear uh, 3D, this thing called 3D Roach. This thing works perfectly. I love the action on it. It sounds, it doesn't sound perfect because it has no sound, it has foam in between the joints, so it doesn't have that clicking, it's kind of more of a natural, and it just grabs their attention. It doesn't appeal to their sound, but it really stands out in the water has a nice long S turn through the water and it looks perfect. Now, other than this glide bait, I have to go with the River to Sea S waiver. It's about the same uh, about the same amount of money as the Shine Glide, well, as the 3D Roach. Say it's a windy day, it's cloudy overcast, and you're in some medium depth water and shallow water. That's when I pick up a spinner bait. Now for summer, the kind of spinnerbait I throw is a double willow leaf with one gold blade and one silver blade and a white skirt, and I usually throw probably a brown trailer on it, so it has that natural color to it. I cannot express how much I love to throw natural color. Spinnerbaits are just an all-around good bait. You can throw in a medium and in deep water. You just have to watch how, real you, how slow you reel it in and how you're trying to get the fish. Now, say it can be cloudy, sunny, having a, it can be hot or cold, but if there is a rock wall or a bank with some nice structure on it, I'm talking about rock structure, not wood, well, you might be able to get away with wood, I throw a square bill crankbait. A square bill crankbait is one of my favorite baits. It's what I really started catching fish on when I first started bass fishing. Square bills, I like to fish with KVD square bills and six cent square bills. The only KVD square bills I fish with, unfortunately, is the sexy shad color because this color works in murky and clear water and everything else in between. It stands out so well in murky water with that chartreuse, but when it's in clear water, it also has somewhat of that natural color under it. And I like to fish this, of course, around the rocks. It's bouncing along those rocks, getting the fish's attention, coming in like that, bouncing off rocks left and right. That fish sees it, he's gonna naturally go and eat it. He's trying to get that fish, he's trying to eat it to get his meal. Now, one thing you make sure you always do if you buy a Strike King bait or any bait with treble hooks for that matter, is you always want to switch out the treble hooks. I recommend switching them out with owner treble hooks. I like to use 2 watt, 3 watt, 4 watts, depending on how big my bait is. Right here, we have the Live Target Swim Bait. Now this swim bait, it's, it is and it isn't pricey at the same time. It's pretty cheap for how much you'd think it would be, but also it can, it's a little more expensive, so don't underestimate it. This bait works phenomenal in clear water. 
And might I add, it only really works in clear water. You can't really throw this in some murky water. So in clear water, those if those fish are under it, they just see this perfect tail action on it. Side to side, it doesn't go down, it doesn't mess up. It's always perfect. Let's go around to probably the king of all reaction baits out there. It You'll be going on a slow day with zero fish in the boat. You whip this thing out, you come in clutch, and you just catch all the fish you can. That has to be a chatterbait. And this is about the only bait I like throwing besides a square bill in a chartreuse color. Now, this right here is the Mega Bass Vision 110 of chatterbaits. This is the Z-Man Evergreen Jackhammer. You know what's even better? If you have this bait, you have the actual jackhammer rod, which I have. It is around $200. It's very pricey, but it is so worth it. It has a slow action tip and a medium heavy power. It is so perfect for chowder baits, crank baits, and jerk baits. I absolutely love it, and you will definitely see it in more videos that I have coming soon, especially with this chowder bait on. The jackhammer. Its vibration is so hard, so strong, and it's so potent against these fish. They will feel it from freaking across the pond, it's so strong. My evergreen rod, the entire rod shakes, and I can feel it on the side of my chest beating on it. Now, this is a 1 fourth ounce one. It has a small head, the bigger ones you have have bigger heads, and these baits, they, they work extremely well. The metal they use on the head, it absorbs the sound from the blade hitting it, so they don't hear that, that knocking of the head. They only feel the vibration of the blade in the water. And what I like to pair up with this, no matter which weight, which size, or whatever, I like to get a four inch Gary Yamamoto Zeko. These things are so good, in my opinion. A lot of people say they're bad. To me, they have really good action. I love it. I can reel them slow, reel them fast, no matter what, I love them. I don't like using Kitex as trailers as much because they tend to break a lot easier. They'll crumble because of the amount of salt they have in them. They might look a little better and have a little, in, in your opinion, might have a little bit of action, but this right here, the Zayco, has never failed me. It works great. It's beautiful. I will love it forever. Same with this Jackhammer Chatterbait. Now, like I said, it is the Vision 110 of Chatterbaits. It's a little pricier than the rest. Like a regular chatterbait, it's probably like seven bucks. This is $15. Now, it is $15. It's a lot more, but if you have the money, I'd buy it. I bought three of them. I already broke off two of them. And I'm kind of upset, but it was worth it. They caught me a lot of fish. In the long run, I want to really catch a lot more fish and get more quality fish. This one, this color, and this Zayco, I've caught more quality fish on than any other color of the jackhammer chatterbaits. Especially, and I also catch more. I can go night fishing with this. I can do anything with it. It is a perfect chatterbait that you can throw anywhere. I, I wouldn't recommend throwing it in the cover. You will get snagged a lot. It's happened to me. But if you're in open water, in grass, you can throw it anywhere you want. The best thing about it, the second you crank that handle, that bait's already freaking uh, vibrating in the water. The second you crank it. This biggest bang for your buck in chatterbaits now unfortunately that's all i have so that's it guys those are my favorite summer baits in my opinion well they're good in arizona i can tell you that 100 that's where i live they are perfect now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i liked making it thank you so much for watching the video i hope you liked it and I want you to tell me down below what are your favorite baits to throw this summer. And also make sure to leave some constructive criticism down below because I want to make better videos for you guys just because this is not just a channel for me to make videos and me to get big or popular or anything. This is also for your guys' entertainment. So if you have any suggestions on how I can make my videos better, please leave it in the comments below or DM me over Instagram. Also, if you could please give me some more video ideas down in the description or on Instagram, please do that. Make sure, guys, if you're a returning viewer, smash that like button. If this is your first time viewing this, go hit that subscribe down below. I have Gucci content. Now, as always, you should always go out there, have a positive attitude no matter where you are, and go catch some fish. Always remember, guys, tug is a drug. See you next time.